Black Girl Magic by Zara Bryan. It was the first day of school and Kaylin was so happy and excited. She was going into second grade. She finally felt like the big girl her mom always said she was. After all, what would make her a big girl more than being in the elementary school, the big blue building across from the infant school that housed kindergarten and first grade? She felt so confident walking into her classroom with her sparkly pink rolling bag and notes with stickers in her pockets. Kaylin sat down at the desk that had a name tag marked Kaylin. She was brimming with excitement about what this school year would bring. Sitting next to her was a boy named Paulo. Paulo looked over at Kaylin and said, And don't you look like a baby. He turned to Christopher and said, Look who we're sitting next to, Miss Perfect Grades, Skinny Minnie. <laughs> Where's the beauty in this class? Both boys laughed. Kaylin was mortified. She started to cry and ran out into the hall so no one would see her tears. She couldn't wait for the second day to end. Her first day of school had turned out to be nothing like she had imagined. <laughs> as soon as the closing bell rang, Kaylin saw her mother's white Jeep compass pull up to the carpool lane. She quickly ran outside, hopped in the car, and immediately broke down. Mom, am I worthy? She sobbed. Mom answered, yes, you are worthy. You are divinely made, and you are magical. But no matter what her mom said, Kaylin did not feel worthy or divine. And she definitely did not feel magical. She felt worthless, hopeless, and not good enough. She felt like there were 100 worms crawling around in her stomach. No matter what mom said, it didn't stop the horrible feeling Kaylin was experiencing. Mom's words just couldn't change it. Kaylin was so glad it was the weekend, she just wanted to be alone. Kaylin looked over at her bedside table and saw her furry pink unicorn journal. 
she pulled it into her lap and started to write. Hmm. Dear diary, is it true? Is it true what Paulo said? Is there anything good about me? Kaylin felt hopeless. Then she wrote, Why? Why am I allowing someone to make me feel this way? I am better than that. Monday morning, as Kaylin got ready for school, she stood in front of her mirror as she brushed her kinky, curly hair, suddenly pulled out her journal and wrote, My hair is kinky and curly and soft and my skin is a milky, chocolatey brown. And my eyes are so round and full that my dad says they look like full moons. I am beautiful. Tuesday morning, she wrote, Last year, my teacher told my mom that I am a very good student. I work hard at solving my math problems and I don't stop until I get them right. I am persistent. Wednesday morning, with a huge smile on her face, Kaylin wrote, A few weeks ago, at my cousin Liam's birthday party, he accidentally fell into the deep end of the pool, and I jumped in and pulled him out. My grandmother said I am a hero. I am brave. Thursday morning, Kaylin was excited about adding. Mom just gave me a telescope for doing my chores every single day for an entire month without anyone asking me to. I am responsible. Friday morning, she anxiously wrote, I always make sure to listen to my best friend, Emma, even when she says the craziest things. <laughs> LOL. I don't always agree with her, but I do listen. So I know I am kind and respectful. Kaylin knew it had been a good week for her. When she walked into the classroom, Paulo came up to her and asked, why are you smiling? Why do you look so happy? Kaylin responded, <laughs> Paulo, I am smiling because I am beautiful. I am persistent. I am brave. I am kind. I am respectful. I am worthy. I am magical. <laughs> Excellent job, readers. The end. And as always, please remember to subscribe. Thank you.